Hi, today we're gonna talk about rhinoplasty recovery. Coming up. Hi again, I'm Dr. Carlos Rosales, otolaryngologist, facial plastic surgery expert. And today we're gonna talk about re recovery of our rhino rhinoplasty, okay? Today we are here with Ale, a patient of mine that just overcome a rhinoplasty. So she's gonna help us a little bit to talk about the recovery uh, tips and instructions. Okay, so again, today we, uh, Ale is in her fourth day be, uh, after the surgery. And as you can see, uh, she has a cast here that is protecting the nose. So you're gonna wear this cast for seven days and you have to keep it uh, dry because if it gets wet, it can uh, get, uh, fall off. So that's an important tip for the recovery of rhinoplasty. Inside of the nose, she doesn't have any plugs. I don't use plugs, I do a special technique or with stitches to uh, close the septum. Uh, so she's breathing uh, quite well, but uh, she needs to wash the nose in the inside and she's gonna help us uh, showing that uh, lately, okay? And under the nose, uh, she needs to put a mustache. This is a folded gauze. We're gonna see this next also, okay? So, uh, first of all, uh, we're gonna pass to the mirror so she can explain us the other recovery test. The recovery tips, sorry. Hi, well, like the doctor said, I just had gotten rhinoplasty and I'm in the process of taking care of it. So I'm gonna basically show you how I keep it clean and dry and just make sure it's as clean as possible because that's one of the most important things after you have rhinoplasty. So basically the first thing I do is I get a Q-tip, a clean one and I dip it in the hydrogen peroxide that the doctor will give you. Just make sure it's damp. I come here and I just try to clean my stitches from the inside as good as I can because it's the most important part. You just want to make sure you get in there good and make sure you get those stitches really cleaned up because you want to make sure that that's really clean. I get the other side and I dip it as well and I clean my stitches from the outside. You wanna make sure those are clean because they're more prone to getting dirty since they're the outside of your nose. I get another one for my other side, dip it again. And then I come up to my other nose. Make sure you get those corners inside because there are stitches in there. There we go. And then I get one more Q-tip. Just leave it dry with no liquid to make sure that you dry it because the hydrogen peroxide can irritate your stitches. So you want to make sure just to dry it as much as you can. You just get a tissue after. Just warm it up. And just tap the outside to make sure it's all dry. The last thing you want to do is get the spray. This is sea salt spray. You want to make sure it's nice and good up here. This is going to like decongest all of it and everything inside your nose and just make sure it's as clean as possible. You want to put it in here, tilt your head back a little bit and just hold it down for about four or five seconds. And tilt it up. A little bit is going to come out of your mouth, but that's a good thing. <laughs> just get a tissue. Just tap a little bit the water away. This really helps because it at least congests your nose and make sure everything is clean as far as back as you can go that you can't really go with the Q-tip. To the other nose. Try not to blow out of your nose really hard because you don't want to put that pressure on your nose. So dry it up. You're good to go. All right, something I forgot to do, after you wash your nose, make sure everything is really clean, you wanna get the gauze. And what I usually do is I fold it up a little bit. Get one, fold it where it's a little smaller so it fits this area right here. It's good to use this after you clean it because you're gonna drip a little bit and you want this just to pick up any type of little blood, any little mucus, anything that might come out of your nose, it's good to pick that up. So I'll just fold it and I put it down. 
tape. Just kind of measure how long you would want it for your face. I just cut it. It's pretty easy. You just want to place it perfectly right here under your nose and just have it taped to your side. You could do it a little longer if you want, it depends on your preference. But that's just good to pick up any excess little liquid that might come out. There you go, and you're good to go. Besides these recovery instructions, you need to keep at rest uh, the first week inside of your home. You, do, you cannot go outside to the sun, okay? If you are here in Cancun, you need to be at the hotel. If you are in your city, you need to be in your home. Uh, you can start with the exercise 15 days after the surgery, but like exercise, full exercise until the fourth week, one month after the surgery, okay? You can use ice pack on, uh, over your cheeks and your face during the first recovery uh, uh, week. And this is the most important part of the, of the instruction also. You will be under painkillers, antibiotic, and anti-flu medicine. So you need to take the pills in your uh, in the proper uh, time, okay? And during the the complete treatment. And that's it. Don't miss your appointments and be safe uh, because of the coronavirus. Also, use your wear mask if you are going, your mask if you are going out. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you next video. We are going to upload more videos in English, but right now we have some other videos in Spanish with some results. You can see it in my channel. You can turn on the subtitles and that's all for the today video. See you.